If you ever notice that cravings hit hardest at night, that willpower disappears after dinner, or that you wake up hungry no matter how good you eat during the day, you're not imagining it. This is not about discipline. This is about hormones. Most people think fat loss, appetite control, and metabolism are decided during the day, but in reality, the most important signals are sent at night. And what your gut, your liver, your pancreas, and brain are doing while you sleep determines whether your body repairs, balances hormones, and releases stored fat, or stays locked in storage mode. And one simple bedtime habit can help support the same GLP-1 satiety pathway targeted by medications like Ozempic and Wegovy naturally. Let's slow this down and make it very practical. GLP-1 is a gut hormone released when food reaches the intestines, especially when there is volume, fiber, and slow digestion. It sends powerful messages to the brain that say, you're full, you're satisfied, you don't need more right now. It also helps improve insulin sensitivity, stabilizing blood sugar, reducing the constant background hunger that makes weight loss feel impossible. But the medications that you hear day after day on TV, like Ozempic and Wegovy, amplify this pathway. What most people don't realize is that certain foods and timing can gently support the same signal without injections, especially at night when your body is recalibrating. And this is where chia seeds come in. Chia seeds are not special because of calories, they're special because of physics and physiology. When chia seeds absorb liquid, they expand and form a gel that is rich in soluble fiber. That gel slows our gastric emptying. It moves food more through the stomach slower and steadily. Slower emptying means stronger satiety signals through the gut and to the brain, especially along the vagus nerve, the longest cranial nerve in the body, cranial nerve 10. And this directly supports GLP-1 release. It also prevents sharp blood sugar spikes, which is critical because insulin spikes at night tell your body to store fat, not burn it. And if you often feel hungry late at night or wake up thinking about food, that's a sign those signals are off. Not that you're weak, the signals are actually off. Now let's talk about the second piece that makes us different from what you've done before, lemon. Lemon isn't just for flavor. It's here for signaling. You see, lemons helps stimulate bile flow and it communicates more with the liver. Bile is not just a digestive fluid for fats, it's a messenger. And when bile flows properly, it improves how the gut senses nutrients, especially fats, and that improves hormone signaling, including GLP-1. Lemon also supports the liver's nighttime role that while you sleep, your liver regulates blood sugar output. If that process is erratic, you wake up hungry, you crave sugar, and you stay stuck in fat storage mode. Supporting bile and liver signaling helps smooth that process overnight. Here's an important interactive moment. I want you to think about this honestly. Do you snack at night even when you're not truly hungry? Do you crave something sweet or crunchy after dinner? Do you wake up hungry even after eating enough the day before? Those are hormone signals, not habits. And this is why timing matters so much. Doing this before bed works with your circadian rhythm when your gut hormones, insulin sensitivity, and liver metabolism are most responsive. Now let's put this together clearly and simple. You're gonna use one tablespoon of chia seeds. Now that amount is very important because less doesn't give you enough gel formation and more is unnecessary. You'll place it in a large glass or a jar. You'll add at least 12 to 16 ounces of water, more than you think you need because chia absorbs a significant amount of liquid. And then you're gonna add your fresh lemon juice, about a half a lemon. You're gonna stir it thoroughly. You're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes or so. This will allow the chia to fully expand. Then you'll stir it again before drinking. This prevents the clumping and ensures even gel formation. 
And the best time to drink this is approximately 30 to 60 minutes before bed, not right before lying down. That window allows digestion to begin, GLP-1 signaling to activate, and blood sugar to stabilize right before sleep. And remember, consistency matters much more than quantity. A quick word on expectations. This is not a drug. It's not a magic trick. You are not forcing weight loss. You are changing the environment your hormones live in. When insulin stays lower overnight, when GLP-1 signaling improves, and when the liver and gut communicate properly, the body becomes far more cooperative. Many people notice fewer cravings, much better sleep, less nighttime snacking, and improved control around food. And those changes are often what allows fat loss to finally happen without constant struggle. And I want to end with this because it matters. If weight loss has felt hard, if cravings feel uncontrollable, if nights are your downfall, you're not broken. Your body is responding to signals. Change the signals and the response changes. This simple bedtime habit helps support the same biological pathway targeted by powerful medications, but in a very gentle, natural way that works with your body instead of fighting it. I hope that this video is helpful for you. And I ask you please to share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.